god. It's literally sitting on the top. <laughs> what up, guys? Ben with Underrated Garage here, bringing a different kind of video today. I'm with Star. We got a Honda again on the channel. 2000. 2000 CRV. It's got my old Evo wheels from the 3000 GT on it, but it's stock height. We got some True Heart coilovers, some camber arms, and we're actually in a shop today, so we have the luxury of working on a lift here. <laughs> you can see it has the stock suspension and arms on it, monster trucking, and it's actually poking a little bit with these aggressive spec Evo wheels. But we're gonna make it all fit nice and right. What is going on over here? <laughs> Someone's just, excited. Just my big uh, coil over. Oh, nice. all that very beginning of the project Already have broken, broken bolts already I'm not gonna give it a choice this time after some persuasion the other side came out without breaking so I'm gonna throw this control arm in so I'm going to start disassembling this rusty front end. Bye-bye, shitty struts. <laughs> front left, coil over and arm is in. <laughs> She's going to be low on these 18. Outside. In the air, it's already looking crazy. Crazy over here. Well, we haven't really adjusted anything, but the coils and camber kits are on. They're maxed out. <laughs> Let's see what we're working with here. We got a little room to work with right now. Yeah. Oh my god. It's literally sitting on the top. <laughs> hey, it's like if you were bagged. This is literally what the fitment would be if you were fucking bagged. So that answers that. <laughs> Definitely not fucking drivable on max low. <laughs> well, cause you know, these Honda boys like to tuck on these coilovers, so you know. <laughs> Part two reveal after raising them because that was way too slim. Let's see if it's drivable. Fuck! It's still, it's it looks sick. It looks absolutely sick, but the rub is gonna be insane. With more camber, you could probably run this height or less tire. Stretch tires or camber, you could pull it off. But this. I mean, you just, it's gonna sound like hell going down the road. Oh, it's just all rust back there. <laughs> God damn, it's not even holding on to anything anymore. <laughs> this is where we're stopping for tonight. It's still pretty slammed. He's gonna attempt to drive home like this. <laughs> um probably gonna need some more adjusting another day and definitely the camber is gonna have to be adjusted a little bit he's got some hope but it is definitely a slam CRV and I've never seen one on Evo wheels like this so looks sick let us know what you think but this uh, video is gonna have to continue when we get the height all dialed in and get some beauty shots of it this is the uh, ride height he adjusted it to now she's getting the alignment. And then tomorrow we're gonna take it out, clean it up, 
Just get some beauty shots for you. As you guys saw, we got a slammed RD1 now. Stars uh, sitting pretty with this nice fitment on the CRV. I wouldn't really say slammed though. Uh, and not compared to what some of these guys do. Some of you that are probably watching have these things. Oh, that's what you wanted, right? Yeah. Still functional, drivable, looks clean. It's the only one I've seen on Evo wheels. One, one of one. There one you go. How was the process though? Um. If it wasn't for the rust, I, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, it that's true. Bad. It's it's not difficult. It's a Honda. It's just these old Hondas, when the rust has got to them over the years, that changes the game. So. <laughs> Stuff, uh, some new tires and tints. Hell yeah. And then summertime, we work on the subs. For sure. We'll be going out to shows this summer, so you guys will see the updates on the future of this thing. But for now, she's a lot better. <laughs>